Hey, what's up guys? Happy Monday. It's Monday, September the 14th, and we're coming to you to talk to you about what is the best way to lose fat? We get these questions all the time. Um, should I do more cardio? Should I cut out a lot of uh, food in my diet? Should I go on a strict diet? So we're going to touch base on the kind of four things, four to five things that you need to um, do in order to um, lose weight. So the best ways to do that and just a little bit about those. So um, get this question all the time. Uh, what is the best way? I would say there's probably not one clear defined way of which is the best. It's more or less what works best for you. Um, so one of the things we have is start strength training. If you haven't started strength training, um, now may be the time to do so. Um, strength training may be the most important factor for increasing fat loss. Uh, lean mass, also known as muscle, uh, is more metabolically active than fat mass. Um, so which just means that you burn more calories at rest with um, stronger muscles than you would with more body fat. Um, so the more lean you are, the more you're going to burn and the better you're going to feel. So um, also designing the, the proper strength training program could uh, be your determining factor for burning more. Um, so if you need somebody to do that, we're more than happy to help. Uh, number two would be eating healthy, healthy fats. Healthy fats uh, would be... Um, encouraged uh, in the diet. Uh, in order to burn fat, you need to eat fat, um, but not any kind of fat. It needs to be healthy fats such as coconut oil, olive oil, uh, and, and those that may be found with avocados as well. Um, they contain mono un monounsaturated, or excuse me, monounsaturated fats, which have anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it would also help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation. So. With those being said, you can eat fat, just a matter of what kind you want to eat, not just any kind. Um, getting more sleep would be number three. Get more sleep. I know a lot of times it's hard to get sleep once you're working all day and staying up late, you're watching the news or whatever you may be doing. Um, studies consistently show that sleep loss may uh, alter potent fat burning hormones in your body. Hormones like leptin and, and, and ghrelin, um, which may be altered, leading to hunger. Uh, so therefore, you're going to eat more, and as you eat more, you, you get less sleep, you're going to be uh, gaining more, more weight with that. So it's encouraged to get like six to eight hours uh, of sleep each night. Um, could balance and help that appetite control um, to help that fat loss a lot easier. Uh, number four, increase your fiber intake. I know a lot of times fiber, people think eating too much fiber is not good, but it needs to help increase that to kind of flush you out. Um, if you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, you're not getting enough fiber in your diet, so which could lead to weight gain. Um, it aids in digestion, boosting fullness, and are low in calories, um, so you can eat more. More and um, more fiber is uh, less caloric, um, so therefore you can eat a lot of it and feel more full uh, with it. With that, so um, if you're not eating a lot of fiber now, increase your fiber slowly to prevent from uh, gas, bloating, cramps, and pain from occurring. Uh, you just need to find those uh, that balance, uh, eating enough uh, and not too much. Uh, and last but not least, number five is choose better drink options. I know a lot of times I get the, um, I drink too much wine, I drink too much beer. Uh, you can do that. It just, you know, drink drink less of it. Um, higher caloric drinks like soda, fruit juice, alcohol could, could make losing fat harder. Um, by switching these drinks up uh, with water, you could lower your total calorie intake and uh, burn more fat. So... With that being said, those are just kind of the five things that um, you might be uh, needing to do more or less to kind of aid in that um, fat loss. Um, so just to recap, number one, start strength training. Number two, eat healthy fats. Three, uh, get more sleep. Number four, increase your fiber intake. And then number five, choose better drink options. Hope you find this helpful. And if there's anything we can do to help, you can feel free to reach us at premierperformancetrainer.com. Find out more about what we do and what we had to offer, or you can give us a call, 615-495-9044. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.